Haiti has lost more than 99% of its original force and the last small areas are now being destroyed. Some of the wood is being used for building materials, but the major reason for deforestation now involves cooking fuel. While the developed world uses mostly natural gas and electricity for cooking, people in Haiti and other developing countries use charcoal for cooking derived from native trees. To make charcoal, the sticks and other wood are ignited and covered with a layer of dry dirt to smolder slowly. After a week or more, the charcoal is harvested and stuffed in large sacks. This is all done in remote parts of Haiti and then transported to the cities for sale. Thousands of bags of charcoal are sold in Port-au-Prince markets. Haiti is on the west side of Hispaniola, sharing the island with the Dominican Republic. One of the last stands of original forest in Haiti is in La Visite National Park, just south of the capital city of Port-au-Prince. Patches of hardwood trees barely exist on the steepest slopes, while patches of pine trees can be seen on the plateau. Here, as throughout Haiti, tree cutting and charcoal making continues and can be seen as telltale smoke on satellite images. Inside the national park, there was evidence of recent tree cutting called sapwood harvesting. A large gouge is removed from the tree to make tinder for lighting fires. Months later, the tree falls over and is carried away for lumber or charcoal. Because of this continual cutting, most of the national park is treeless, like Haiti in general. In the center of the park, tree cutters were at work on a recent visit. While this activity is strictly forbidden, limited funds are available to hire park guards and enforcement is difficult. In this case, the tree cutters had just finished climbing up several trees and cutting branches to take wood out of the park and make charcoal. Back in the capital city of Port-au-Prince, loose charcoal in large baskets was being sold at a busy market. Bags of charcoal were stacked in nearby buildings, suggesting an endless supply. Yet Haiti will soon run out of the source of charcoal, its forests, and there are no clear alternative sources of fuel. This human crisis in Haiti is shared with the fragile biodiversity of the country. Many of Haiti's frogs, birds, and other organisms do not occur in the neighboring country, the Dominican Republic, and nearly all are threatened with extinction. Unless the tree cutting stops soon, Haiti's rich biodiversity will disappear.